In my previous lesson, I introduced us to bearing. And during the course of the lesson, we made mention of the compass bearing and three figure bearing. Another word for that is three digits. So in our lesson today, we'll be looking at the compass bearing and three figure bearing. We understand what it means. And one of the things we'll be doing is the conversion of compass bearing to three figure bearing and conversion of three digits or three figure bearing back to compass bearing. So what is compass bearing? Compass bearing are bearings that are based on the cardinal points, all right? The cardinal points are the north, the east, the south, and the west. So when angles are measured using the cardinal points, we call it compass bearing. We also have the southeast, sorry, the northeast at this position, the southeast, we have the southwest, and then we have the northwest. So when we measure angles or degrees using the uh, the compass, we could consider it as a compass bearing. Then on the other hand, the three figure bearing are angles measured from the north pole in clockwise direction. So when you have your compass and you are measuring all your angles from the north pole down to the first, second, third, and fourth quadrant till you arrive back at the north pole. We consider it as a, as a three figure bearing. The difference between the compass bearing and the three figure bearing is that compass bearing is measured from the position or from that particular point of the angle given to you. For an instance, you have south 45 east. South 45 east is an angle that you can locate around um, southeast, anywhere in the second quadrant. But if you are given this angle in three figure, then it must be measured from the north pole. For an instance, if I have 125, 125 is three digits. To measure 125, I'll start the movement from the north pole and move towards um, the second quadrant in clockwise direction. So that should be somewhere around here, all right? So that is the basic difference between the compass bearing and the three-figured bearing. The striking difference is that three-figured uh, compass bearing is measured based on the location, the point given to you. But the three-figure bearing is always measured from the North Pole. Now, these angles can be converted from one to the other. Let's consider how the conversions can be done. All right, so these are examples of compass bearing. Let's see how we convert it from compass to three-digit bearing. So the first thing you have to do is to draw your cardinal point. We are working with the first one. This is the North. And southeast is located where? The second quadrant. This is south, this is east. So this angle should be somewhere around here. I have to make here to be smaller because this is where I'll write the 25. Remember, whenever you are given a compass bearing, the angle must touch the south pole or the north pole. So since I have southeast, the angle must be between south and the southeast pole. And not here. To convert it to three figure bearing, let's find the corresponding angle from the north to the southeast pole. This is the north pole. So the angle we are looking for is the angle that will run from here to this pole. All right. So since here is 25, then here must be 65 because the total angle in one quadrant is 90. If you add these two angles, you have 90. Now the angle here is also what? 90. To find this angle, you add this and this. So 90 plus 65 should give us 155 degrees. You can see that this angle is now in three digits, three figures. So we have converted this to three figures. That is the first one. For the second one, I'll draw the cardinal points again. The north, the east, south, and the west. So I have northeast. Northeast is the first quadrant. This is north, this is east. So 75 from this place, remember it has to touch the north pole since I have not. So that would be somewhere here. 75 would be bigger than the remaining space. So here is 75 degrees. To convert any angle in the first quadrant to, to, to three figure bearing, just add zero to the front. So this is 0, 075 because there is nothing to add or subtract. This is 0, 075 degrees. We have successfully converted this. So three figure, one, two, three. Now for the next one, that is C, the cardinal point first, 
we have north and west so i'll be drawing only north and what west 35 northwest should be somewhere here 35 has to touch the pole all right to convert 35 northwest to third figure we are looking for a corresponding angle from the north pole that will run to the what northwest pole this is the northwest pole here is 90 here is 90 here is 90 what will this angle here be because we need to add one two three four so this angle here should be the remaining part of 90 here is 35 already so if here is 55 you add 35 and 55 to have 90 so let's add everything so 1990 90 is 270 plus this you have 295 degrees so the angle is already three figured very let's solve d so for d we have our compass here is the north pole southwest this is south no this is south and this is the west so the angle will be somewhere here this is 42 so 42 should be somewhere here and it has to touch the south pole this is 42 to convert it to three figure bearing or three digit bearing it starts from the north pole and run until i get the line of what the south uh, the southwest okay so here is 90 here is 90 the angle here is 42 right so you add everything this is 1990 is 180 plus 42 you have 222 degrees so this is also a three figured bearing i've done one two three four i'll leave the fifth one and the sixth one for you try them out and drop the answer in the comment section i'll come back to check them all thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like this video and share to your friends come back for more interesting math tutorials bye